I consider myself a little bit of a soft taco connoisseur. I eat them at least once a week. But my favorite kinds are filled with stewed shredded meat like tinga de pollo. So Tim is here to show us how to make tinga the right way. Hey, any day we're making tacos is a great day. So we're gonna start with two pounds of chicken thighs. They have lots of pockets of fat and collagen and connective tissue that break down during cooking. So you'll get super tender, super shreddable, really, really silky meat. Thighs are also great because they can withstand higher heat and longer cooking. So we're not in any danger of overcooking them. I've got one tablespoon of vegetable oil already heating over medium high heat. While that's going, we're gonna go ahead and blot these thighs dry. We want these dry because we're gonna end up browning them. And we're gonna season these with salt and pepper. And whenever you season, you always wanna come from high. You want even distribution over all of the meat. For this, we wanna season both sides. I like to use a glove. Keep one hand for seasoning and one for dealing with your meat. Good amount of salt. Good amount of pepper. And we're ready to go. All right. And I can use this gloved hand and transfer these thighs to our heated pot. Sounds great. We're gonna lay these thighs down. In the interest of developing more flavor, we're browning the meat so we can get a nice fond at the bottom. And more fond means more flavor that we can use to make a good sauce later. I'm all about that flavor. So it's been about three minutes. We're just gonna give these a flip. These are gonna go about three or four minutes on the next side, and then we'll keep cooking the rest of our chicken. So this second batch is looking great. And now we're ready to start building a really nice sauce. We're gonna reduce the heat to medium here and add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. We're gonna start with one onion, sliced really thin, and we wanna get some nice color on these, some nice browning. That'll take about seven or eight minutes. So these onions are looking nice and brown. We're gonna go ahead with three cloves of minced garlic, and we're gonna stir that around and get that nice and fragrant. It'll take about a minute. So we're gonna add our spices, one teaspoon of ground cumin, a half teaspoon of brown sugar, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And we're gonna stir that around. This has been going for about a minute, and now we're gonna go ahead and add our liquid ingredients. So this is one 14 and a half ounce can of chopped fire roasted tomatoes and a half cup of really good chicken broth. We're gonna add two tablespoons of minced chipotle and adobo plus two teaspoons of the sauce that it comes packed in. We're just gonna stir this around, bring it to a boil and make sure we scrape up all that nice fond. When I started working here a thousand years ago, you really couldn't find chipotles in adobo sauce at supermarkets. But these days, they're actually very available. Now, chipotle chilies are simply jalapenos that have been smoked, so they have a really deep, earthy flavor. I like to think of them as the bacon of the vegetable world. And that adobo sauce is a little bit spicy, a little bit sweet. So all that means tons of flavor going into the sauce near the beginning. So this is at a nice boil. We're gonna go ahead and finish cooking off our chicken thighs. Wanna lay them flat. Most recipes cook the chicken and the sauce separately, but here we're cooking them together. So the chicken gives a little, the sauce gives a little. It's kind of a good marriage. Yeah, it's like a little good give and take. We're cooking to 195. So we're reducing to medium low, and we're gonna cover and simmer. Now the thighs are actually cooked through at 175, but at that higher temperature, the connective tissue, that collagen, it's all converting more to gelatin. So you get a super shreddable, super silky texture. This will cook for 15 minutes, and five minutes through, we're gonna flip these chickens over. Sounds great. So it's been about 15 minutes, and this chicken is looking really, really good. <laughs> it is looking really, really good. The kitchen smells amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and off the heat. I'll transfer all this chicken to our cutting board. And you notice we've got this really, really good stuff in here, but it's not quite homogenous. So to make a cohesive sauce, we're gonna blend it on high for about 30 seconds till it's just nice and smooth. Woo! Steamy. And we're gonna go right back to the pot. Now we're gonna come back to our chicken and we're gonna shred these into bite-sized pieces. You don't have to be too exact or precise with this. So this is looking pretty good. All right, I do need a little bit of quality control here. Love it. This chicken is gonna go straight back in the pot. Simmering it for a little bit longer will break down that collagen even further. It kind of shreds itself. <laughs> Simmering is also awesome because it reduces the sauce slightly, so it'll really, really cling to the meat. 
and that's great for tacos. This is going to go for about 10 minutes, and you want to stir frequently to avoid scorching the bottom of the pot. So it's been about 10 minutes. It looks absolutely amazing. It's really fall apart tender. <laughs> so we'll go off heat. We'll add one teaspoon of lime zest and two tablespoons of lime juice. Gives some nice balance to an otherwise really intense smoky flavor. So this is ready to go. It is taco time. I'm gonna load up some of this nice tinga. We've got some pretty standard fixings here. Scallions, cilantro, avocado, some limes, because who doesn't want more limes? <laughs> and a simple quick pickle called escabeche, and you can get that recipe online. And I'll finish it off with some cotija cheese. You ready? I am so ready. Cheers. Cheers. Clink. And that chicken's super tender. Super tender. Falling apart. And the sauce is nice and thick. But then that last 10 minutes back in the sauce, that really took it to a whole new level. It's really key to the recipe, huh? Well, I guess it takes two tatanga for our shredded chicken tacos. It's all about building deep flavor at every step. Brown chicken thighs, not boneless, skinless chicken breasts, and then cook onions until deeply browned. Build a sauce with tomatoes, garlic, spices, and chipotle chilies, and braise the chicken right in that sauce. Shred the chicken and return it to the sauce to coat it well. Then finish by loading up that soft corn tortilla with plenty of tinga, avocados, and more. So from our test kitchen to your kitchen, shredded chicken tacos, tinga de pollo. And you can get this recipe and all the recipes from this season along with our tastings, testings, and selected episodes on our website, americastestkitchen.com. I'm glad you warmed up a lot of tortillas. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later.